because they're, they're animals. It's all a game. It's all a who's bigger, faster, stronger, smarter. That's how the animal kingdom works. It's not like, oh my goodness, why did you growl at your brother and sister? That's so silly. It's like, because they're freaking animals. Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canine Educator. Today we are in Virginia, beautiful Virginia, hot Virginia, but beautiful Virginia. And we are working with a dog that was an hour away from being euthanized. This dog is super sweet. Wait till you meet this dog. It's gonna blow your mind. Sweetest dog ever, was in a kill shelter, rescued, and then rehomed here in Virginia. So today I'm going, this dog knows nothing. So I'm gonna show you the process of coming in and working with a young dog. This dog is less than a year old. And from start to finish, how to develop the foundational training skills that the dog and the owner will need to be successful and then of course how to build the best relationship with a new dog. Think about it when you get resource guarding it's possession. So the resource just like back in the day when we did when humans did resource guarding of gold and minerals and all these different really valuable things that's what this is. So she's guarding something of high resource guarding something of high value aka she's being protective. So if you take that and say, hey, this is kind of ours. So if you, it's okay if you just go here, here you go, and the dog walks away and they have no issues. But if you have a dog that can become potentially super aggressive um, with different items, toys, bullies, um, treats, food in general, like if it was food, you take the kibble and you go like this, and you go like this, and you make it ours. And then, so that's the same thing you'll do with this. And so if I hold this here, she's, she gets it because if she goes and takes it away, mm -hmm. she's an animal. So we forget that, that we've, we've asked an animal to live with us. And what, when, I, when I would work with wolves, when they would eat, they would take their food and they'd go eat it here. And then they'd come back and go back and they'd come back and they'd go back. Or they would just resource guard the entire carcass, depending on how big it was. And that's very primal for dogs to do. They say, this is something I don't get often and this is something I really love. I'm gonna go away from everybody so I can enjoy it by myself, which is okay. But you can't then become aggressive when, the, when you approach. I don't wanna say you can't because you can. That's, that's her given right to do that. You just have to teach her like, hey, you can't do that with me. I'm not gonna take it from you, right? But so, so you have to, and you don't wanna tease her also. So you don't wanna like take it away and then take it away for good. So a lot of times when you hear the growl, people will just take it away. Well, that actually increases the, you just enforced it because she growled and then you did exactly what you thought she, she, was, she thought you were going to do and you took it away and you said, now it's coming up here. And she's like, dang it, next time I'm going to show a little bit more teeth. Right. So what you want to do is when you do get it, so say it's down and you take it like this and you go, hey, here it is again. She goes, oh, so then it doesn't become so scarce. And then she doesn't become so protective over it, right? But if it's something that is really just here you go and you walk away, she's going to guard it. So make it more about you both here. And what you're looking for when you put it on the ground is you're looking for body language. So her body language will change. Her breathing will change. She might put her paw over it. She might put her body over it. She might look at you like this, whale-eyed, and not breathe. Th those are all warning signs. Those are, that's all fair. This is mine, okay? When you're dealing with beef or meat or anything like this they're animals so that's what they love the most so if you try to take it from them they do have a right to to defend that but you dictate that right you know like you're like no no give it back and then you should be able to take it but don't be naive to say that you'll never get bit because of that because they're animals they're 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 not saying like they're not trying to be brats they're not trying to disagree with you they're just saying like I don't think I'm ever going to get this again. This is the best tasting thing I've ever had in my life and I'm going to scarf it down. Mm -hmm. So you have to be a little bit respectful. There's a gray area there. Good. So what I like to do is, um, again, make this more about us. Good girl. Good girl. Good. And then even make her work for it. She, she offered me a sit. She's like, how about now? Sure. Good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Good. And I'll make her come to me to come get it because if she possesses it, so right now, where, where does, she has the ball in the court, right? Because right? I'm in her mouth, <laughs> and she has, she has full advantage. But if I take it here, come on. Come on, good. Good girl, 
Now she's in my court. So now we're, we're and look at her tail. Mm -hmm. The tail doesn't always dictate a happy dog, but that's a happy dog tail wag. <laughs> He's a good girl. You gotta be careful how you do this. So don't try this at home, I guess. Yeah. So in general, it's just changing up the delivery. Changing up the delivery. We'll just give them, yep. like, we'll literally have those and we'll have the three dogs gathered and we're like, here, Eager, you get one first. Good. You get one Keiko and you get one Freya and they disperse to their own corners and they eat it. Mm -hmm. And then you wonder why she's growling. And yep. And if there's, and here's the thing, is you have to, see, I, I always, when, when, you, when you think about these types of predatorial, this is my meat, um, much like last night with my undercooked burger, uh, it, it's, it's very instinctual for, for dogs to act differently, especially around other animals. Birds, squirrels, like they're in the animal kingdom. <laughs> so when there's other dogs around too, she may be more inclined to be aggressive or protective over the item because she's going to think you're just going to give it to the other dog yeah. or something like that. So you may never see a lot of possession aggression with the, with the dog when there's no other dogs around. But if there is other animals, that's a big competition. That's all the animal kingdom is in this type of, it's a canine. Yeah. So it, it, that's all it is, is a competition. Who gets it first, who's strongest, who's, and that's the thing we don't understand as humans is they will fight each other until they're just about dead. And they don't really take it personally. They're like, I'm just trying to eat. So you have to mix that psychology around a little bit that that becomes very like, this is mine. Mm -hmm. And then if you go and ch take it, she might not have a problem with it because she's like, you're not going to eat it. You're going to give it back to me. Um, so it's not necessarily like that she was growling at us, the humans. It's because we were going to take it, but she could have thought that we were going to take it and give it to one of the other dogs. Correct. And that's why she would growl at even us. It's possible. But there is also a huge possibility that she was growling at you because she didn't want you to take it. Because right. she doesn't know the difference between her... You take, because th that to her is so, it's a rarity. Right. So that's like, oops, we dropped a flank steak on the floor. <laughs> she doesn't know if that's like, gobble, 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 right. oops, it's gone. So you just have to have a, res you know, a respect here. Hey, hey. Good. So she's trying to cough it down before I try to take it. I don't blame her for that. But I also don't have a lot of leverage here. So what I can do is... Ah, let me. Yeah, good girl. Don't try that at home. Yeah. Either. <laughs> I was like, no. Good. But you just, I'm, we're temperament testing. Yeah, it's yeah. not like, I'm just trying to see where she's at with it. She's not too, like, she, no growling. But that, she could bite me at any moment and it would be my fault. That's my right. point. Because I'm really pushing boundaries just to see where she's at because that's my job. I'm trying to see, like, what, what's her intentions behind the growl that you saw that one time. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is make this more like this. Yes, yeah, good girl. Like it's almost our idea to have this, not her go, holy crap, they dropped it again. And they take it because this is such a high value. <gasps> what a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Well, what we were talking about too is, is when you get resource guarding, it's possession, aggression as well. It's the same thing. And so the first word is possession. So if you don't let her possess it, then you're good. But I don't see a lot of, you know, she's, she's not t too bad with it, but I bet if she went away and really, cause dogs are just like, <sighs> when they get something like this, it's like a good bowl of ice cream. It's like, this is so heavenly and you're just obsessed with it. And when somebody comes and you, you feel like they're going to take it from you. And like I was saying that the dogs, the other dogs that are around could definitely add to the mix as well. Cause they're, they're animals. It's all a game. It's all a, who's bigger, faster, stronger, smarter. That's how the animal kingdom works. It's not like, oh my goodness, why did you growl at your brother and sister? That's so silly. It's like, cause they're freaking animals. Like right. they'll kill their brother and sister. They don't, they don't, they don't like, that's the emotional thing that we do as humans is we're like, that's your brother, that's your sister. Why did you bite them? Why did you make them bleed? But no, they're not, actually they're not brother and sister. They're animals. And even if they are litter mates, they still will kill each other to get what they want. You know, I've seen, that's what I mean. Like I've. I've rolled with the wolves. I've seen it. Like, they don't care. They're not politically correct. They're like, this is mine. I'm an animal and I will try to kill you for it. And a lot of times there's a huge difference between an animal, actually, especially canines. Them actually trying to kill an animal versus beat them to a pulp until, so they learn a lesson. 
It is what it is. You got to be a little bit respectful about it, you know. Right, sweetheart? Good. And of course, what we're looking for is... Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, don't forget, cop yourself some No Bad Dog Burge at buynobaddogs.com. You know, body changes, um, things like that. anything that'll change. Like if she were to just grab it and then look at me, I would, I would run away. <laughs> like I would let her win that. But right now she's just like, give me that, give me that. Good girl. That's a good girl. So you just make it like, hey, I'm not gonna take it. We're gonna have it together. Oh, hello there again. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. If you guys haven't yet, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, clicking the little notif notification bell somewhere that's down here to notify you guys every single time that I upload so you don't miss anything. Of course, liking this video and leaving your dog training questions below, I will answer them. I truly do appreciate you guys checking me out. Thank you so very much, and I will talk to you next time. Peace.